Hey, Devin here. In today's video, I'll be discussing the programmability features of Qualtrics. So it's worth noting that you don't need any coding knowledge to use Qualtrics, but it does offer flexibility for those who are familiar with programming languages. In the survey questions themselves, you can edit the source code by adding HTML and CSS. You can also add JavaScript to add dynamic behaviors to your questions. In addition, you can also customize the appearance of your survey by adding custom CSS in the look and feel and style section. I'll now share three examples of how I utilize these programmability features in Qualtrics for a lot of our clients this year. Earlier this year, I was tasked with creating a customer satisfaction survey for a client. In these types of surveys, it's common to use a five-star rating question type with a conversational follow-up if the customers rated their satisfaction as three stars or lower. As you can see, the wording for this question type appears very cramped in both desktop and mobile views. My client wanted the wording to appear above the stars, so I used some CSS and HTML to make the questions look a lot better, especially on mobile. So to fix this formatting of this question, I went into the JavaScript of the question and added this code right here. For the follow-up question, I accessed the rich content editor and added the CSS code to the source code. As a result, the revised question looks so much better on mobile devices and desktop. Many of our clients like to use mouse over text to save space on their surveys. For example, one of my clients wanted to provide more information about the term myself without taking up extra space on the survey. This is what the revised questions look like with the added code. To achieve this, I went into the source code of the question and added the following CSS code. I also had to go into the look and feel section and add a custom CSS code to make the tooltip bar appear and change its color. One of my clients wanted to move the language container higher on their survey, while another client wanted to make it disappear altogether. To make these changes, I went to the look and feel section and added the following custom CSS code to the style section. This allowed me to modify the position higher or lower, and this code controlled the visibility of the language container according to my client's preferences. Several of our clients have multiple brands and they wanted the logo displayed in their survey to change depending on where the respondent is coming from. For example, if the respondent is coming from Coca-Cola, they wanted the Coca-Cola logo to be displayed. If the respondent is coming from Mountain Dew, they wanted the Mountain Dew logo to be displayed and so on. So to accomplish this, I first had to upload the images of the logos to the graphics library. Then, in the survey flow, I added HTML code displayed on the appropriate logo based on the respondent's origin. This allowed my clients to customize the branding of their survey for different audiences. You can also add code to the workflows and emails in Qualtrics. And to summarize, the programmability of Qualtrics is quite extensive, and the only limitation is your own coding knowledge and creativity. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn or you can leave down a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.